First at five, the murder case of nurse Janine Jones, who is facing charges in the deaths of five infants, has taken a surprising turn. There has been a change of plans. A trial that would have de have a jury determine her competence to stand trial on murder charges had been set for this morning. But Paul Venema reports that just as it was set to begin, Jones' lawyer withdrew his request for the trial. With the families of the five infants she is accused of killing sitting in the front row, Janine Jones' lawyer made an unexpected announcement. After uh, uh, some research and some uh, observations and some discussions, uh, our position at this point is that we're going to stipulate to the report that my client is now competent. Cox agreed to accept the evaluations of experts who said Jones was competent to stand trial. She's accused of murder in the deaths of five infants under her care at area hospitals in the mid-80s. Jones, known as the killer nurse, served a life sentence for killing a Kerrville child by injecting her with a lethal dose of a muscle relaxant in 1984. During this morning's hearing, prosecutors asked Judge Frank Castro to delay the start of Jones' murder trial, which he said he planned to schedule in January. They cited a heavy trial schedule. It's my decision. It's firm. You've had 30 years to indict her, and then now you want to have some more time. I'm not going to do that. Castro set November 1st as the deadline for filing pretrial motions. While this case continues to work its way through the courts, Jones remains behind bars where she's been for the last three decades. Her bond in each of the new cases set at $1 million. Paul Venema, Case at 12 News.